Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today I'm super excited because finally the embargo is over and I can show you the Axis Flying Manta 3.6 inches 6S freestyle drone. And this thing, can't wait to try it because it's supposed to be a little rocket, crazy power to weight ratio. And before I open and try it, please remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what do you think about 3.5, 3.6 inches with a ton of power. I mean, do you prefer them over a 5 inch for carrying GoPro? Anyways, this thing has an O3, so not a big deal. And if you want to buy something, as always, remember to check out the description down below and clicking on the links. You help this channel a lot. Thank you so much. Let's go. Boom. Let's open the box. Oh my God, everything fell. You got the accessory bag and here you can see the drone very nicely slotted in the cardboard box. Doesn't go really anywhere. Nice way to package it. Also lightweight. Let's see the accessories. First of all, you got two pairs of Gemfan Hurricane 3630 by 3 and one you have to put on the drone, one is spare, so very nice also to have two kind of different colors. And then the usual accessory bag, zip ties, extra battery pad and extra battery strap with a retro reflective strip on it. So if you lose your drone at night, you shine your flashlight at it, it will glow really, really bright. Different kind of screws, including the one for the GoPro mount and here three different sizes of hexagonal keys and the prettiest screwdriver I ever seen in a drone box. Even better than the ones DJI gives you. Even has a little spinny thing on the bottom. Very, very nice. Finally, here is the drone in all its beauty. It's 162 millimeter motor to motor and it's 280 grams as you see it without propellers. And it's a squashed X design, as you can see. The X is not straight, it's squashed in the horizontal direction. And this, hopefully on their website, they say doesn't get the propellers in view of the O3. So if you want to fly cinematic with it, I will. You don't have propellers in view, it's, it's amazing. I, I love when they do that, when they think about people who want to just record with the drones. Also very, very, very sturdy and nice construction. The carbon, very high quality, as you can see, it has this kind of 3D effect. Four millimeter arms, very nice. Also, I see a lot of aluminum parts like this bottom plate with this probably will light up the Axis Flying logo. In the front, you have, as you can see, another aluminum plate with the silicone dampeners for the O3 camera. They thought about everything. Jello, I mean, it's the basics, you know, if a drone you want to do cinematic, you don't want to have propeller in shots and you don't want to have Jello. Some other companies should really take notes here on how to avoid getting Jello. I mean, we have still to try, but at least they thought about it. Also, on the side, you see these uh, sintered nylon plates. They are um, hot swappable, like um, they are not screwed in, you can remove them, they snap in place, they protect the electronics. It's very nice, we also get a GPS, which is always amazing, and we will need it because this drone on the website, they say it can go with a 1100 milliamps battery 6S, from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 0 to 60 miles per hour, 0 0.3 seconds. It's, it's a rocket, basically, and also it can go more than 180 kilometers per hour. The drone size of my hand can go that fast. Can't wait to try really, because sounds amazing. Also here you can see the battery pad is very long, very nicely made, the soft rubber. And this braided XT60 plug can be swapped from uh, the front to the back. You just open it and place it at the back so you have whatever configuration you like. They really, really thought about everything. I mean, Axis Flying is really, every drone they release, they are stepping up a notch. They are, they are one of the best companies, in my opinion, so far, because, I mean, this is already a very, very, very promising product. Also, look, this is the small detail, left and right. A lot of small details I'm just noticing, it's very, very nice. Double antennas up here if you want to run 2.4 GHz, and here 
the big one, the, I mean, you know, the long antennas. I don't use antennas because I have this one for the O3. This drone uses preposterous motors for a 3.5 inches, basically. 2204, 2750 kV. This stuff, I used to see it on 5 inches back in the day, like 2205, 2204 were popular back in like 2016 on 5 inches and now you see them on 3.6 super small stuff, it's crazy. These huge motors are powered by a F7 flight controller with another stack 35 amps ESCs, which are fine, probably they are gonna hold up pretty pretty nice. And that's probably pretty much it for the specs. I'm gonna put the propellers on, bind, try everything, and we're gonna fly tomorrow and see how it goes. And boom, the drone is bound and ready to fly. I put the propellers on and this is my second time doing the first flight because I forgot to press record. Either way, it's 1 p.m. and I don't know still if it has jello on the camera. Let's try and let's see how it goes. I'm gonna fly first with a 1100 milliamps success battery and then I'm gonna put a GoPro and a 1300 milliamps battery so we can see <laughs> how much weight can it carry. It took a long time to, to get the GPS fixed, but okay, we need to get eight satellites, but I guess the speed, we can already see it. The speed you see in the middle of the screen, I put it there because there was no speed in the OSD. Wow. You saw how little it takes to get to 100 kilometers per hour. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> and this drone, it goes. Maybe a 1,100 milliamps is a little bit underpowered. Okay, this battery has a couple of years on its shoulders. Maybe, no, wait, one year. It has one year on its shoulders. Wow, this drone, I feel like I'm in control, this is of course my second flight, I didn't touch anything tuning wise, I have that car parked there, it's giving me a little bit of anxiety, let me do my last power loop around here, and maybe the speed reading is not super precise, I don't know. There is a little bit of wind coming, so when I go in this direction, it goes a little bit faster, I believe. But yeah, it's cruising very fast. I like it, for being a small drone, it goes. And again, tuning-wise, it's amazing. It just needs a little bit of expo, because with thumbs, it's a little bit hard to steer, but... I feel like I am very, very, very in control. And it's a little bit twitchy because it's, it's lightweight for its power. So it's hard to control it at uh, low ground, you know? Again, I think a 1300, which is the battery I tried yesterday for a couple of minutes, is, is kind of better. Where I live, there is not very good uh, satellite reception, even with the Mavics and stuff, it takes a long time to get satellites. And it's weird because look, it's pretty much full sky, but I don't know, this small satellite, this small GPS is on, on this kind of drones, don't pick up satellites very good. Also the reception is good for what it's worth, it's using the original antenna, but I'm not faced that way and wow, it's good. Okay, we flew for like three minutes, the battery is kind of depleted. It was a mixed acro and... Uh, oh! And I didn't see any kind of jello, which is great. Let me come for a landing, because 3.46, we don't like it. Nice. First impression on this drone, this was my second flight because I forgot to hit record before, but 
The motors are kind of warm, but the old drone is warm because it sat there for a couple of minutes to get the satellite fixed. And yeah, in winter it's gonna be very fine. Tuning wise, amazing, flies on rails. It's very controllable, you know, that feeling when you get a good BNF and you, you feel you are already at home in your first flight, you know how it's gonna respond when you fly. This drone is one of them. Power to weight ratio, it's amazing. I don't know if, the, if it's this battery, it's not very used, but maybe 1100, it's a little bit underpowered for this drone. I will use a, a bigger battery, like a 1300. We are not sub 250 grams anyways. You can use whatever battery on it, it doesn't matter really. And a bigger battery gives you more juice to cruise faster. Probably a very good drone for bando bashing and for freestyle flying because it's smaller. If you crash, it has less inertia, less weight. You break less stuff and you are very agile indoors while still you can go fast outdoors. And now it's time not only for the GoPro, but for a 1300 milliamps battery. It's super heavy in my hands. It's 660 grams. It's almost like five inch kind of weight and it's so tiny but it feels it's made of uh, lead it's crazy and yeah let's try if it flies good i mean it's uh, super promoted this drone it already flew good with a 1100 i also tried off camera with only a 1300 flies just fine let's see how it does with the extra weight of the gopro So far, <laughs> I mean, it sounds menacing, but can go still. Uh, okay, okay, of course, it's a little bit slower than before, but it doesn't seem to care quite that much. And the hang time, oh my god, the hang time, it's just crazy. Look at it. It looks like I'm on Mars. <laughs> How does it pick up from a, from a dive? You know, it's not bad. It's even tamer. And look, no prop wash, no nothing. Wow. This drone I, I don't think I'm gonna be using a, a GoPro on it, but it's, it's great still. Because of course I have the O3 version. But I mean... Look how smooth it is, even in the... in the feed. For carrying all this weight, I'm very impressed. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, it's uh, like a farm. Wow. Maybe I need to put a little bit more camera angle because it's not going... No, okay, okay, 90 kilometers per hour, sort of cruising. It's not bad. Of course, I've seen faster drones, but for a 3.6 inches, and it, it doesn't even seem that much inefficient for being 660 grams on 3.6 inches. Wow. I'm not pushing 100%. Wow! It takes a little, a little bit to move all of the inertia. Like if you are standing still, it takes a little bit, but it's, it has a lot going on, you see? It's crazy. Oh, I don't recommend ripping, of course, with this setup, with the GoPro, because it's more uh, for cinematic stuff, I believe. It's not super nimble. It, it doesn't feel as responsive as, uh, as before. 
It's not bad, but of course it's not a five inch. Oh. Yeah. It's like when on a five inch you put the GoPro and a 1800 milliamps battery. It's the same feeling. But it's super versatile, this drone. You can keep it lightweight and rip like crazy. You can put a GoPro uh, and work on, with it. Of course, if you are ripping, why do you need the GoPro? You have uh, the, the O3, which is uh, fine enough for ripping. And wow. Imagine this battery without the GoPro. I need to put Expo again, but as you know, I never touch the drones. I fly how they come because I want to show how you get them from the box. We flew for 4 minutes 20, 30, 4 minutes 30. Motors still warm, I can touch them, they are like 38 degrees, it's fine, wow. Second flight, I'm even more impressed now, this thing flies amazing and it punches well above its size class, because at 3.6 inches it feels just like a 5 inch, it's, it's crazy, but it's smaller, it makes a little bit less noise and I mean still be careful because with this battery, 660 grams with the GoPro, look at these sharp points, if you hit somebody it already hurts like this don't hit somebody or anything really because you're gonna <laughs> puncture right through whatever you hit like this it's a flying brick final opinion on the axis flying manta 3.6 inches freestyle drone i mean you saw it super small super cute but it flies like a five inch the feeling is there of course it goes a little bit slower it cruises a little bit worse but you don't really feel it when you're flying except if you're doing long range at that point Maybe you're looking at bigger drones. It really, really feels like a five inch and it's much smaller. A five inch is like this big. And this is crazy for traveling. You're carrying a much smaller drone. If you crash, if you crash, it breaks a lot less. It has less inertia, less length to, to break. And it's a lot sturdier. Probably it's even better for freestyle than a five inch. If you're flying only with the O3, which is fine enough, you don't need the GoPro. You're not breaking anything, the O3 is protected in there, it's crazy. It also, with a 1300 milliamps, if you're removing the GoPro, you're flying for 7, 8, 9 minutes, depending how slow you fly. <laughs> it has a lot, a lot of fly time as well, crazy. You just need to fly not super aggressive, because this motor takes all you can give them. If you push 100%, they suck even a 1300 milliamps. It goes very, very fast. Maybe I need better batteries with more amperage because this drone just goes crazy. I don't really find many negatives. The, the build quality is amazing. Look at the aluminum, aluminum, carbon is great, it's thick. It's very well thought. Maybe the GPS could be a little bit better and faster because it was just sitting there, not picking up anything. Maybe use a bigger one next time. I wish to see a sub-250 variant of this because now I'm curious what Axis Flying can do. Um, yeah, this drone is promoted. <laughs> I, I don't know if you find negatives about it, but I, I really struggle too. It's very nicely made, very compelling very versatile. And as always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what you, what you think about this little beast right here. Help me find some cons also because this is a very good drone and I struggle to find cons. Even the battery pad is long, you can put the center of balance wherever you like. It's pretty, pretty nicely thought about. And if you want to buy something, especially this drone, click on the links down in the description below. You help this channel a lot. Stay safe and happy flying. Bye.